Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Mark Cubs and Garage. You know what today is? We're gonna be building this plasma cutting table. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, if you're looking for a video to watch about this table on how to build it, sit back, relax, and if you haven't been here, welcome. And please come back again and check out my other videos. You know, plug. <laughs> And uh, our first step into doing so, which we're right here, we're gonna do this right now, me and you. So they basically have you, they want you to build the legs first. They're, they're these right here. So they got the little funny holes on, on one end. On the opposite end, they don't have any holes. So this is the end that we're gonna be installing the, uh, the feet. All the bags are labeled, you know, bag four, bag five, bag six. This is the amount of bolts or nuts that you have in your in your in your bags. So they want you to grab a bolt, and then they want you to grab this. Uh, this is the foot, and grab this. Let's see, and then they want you to grab two nuts. And do this here. You're gonna put the bolt. You're gonna put one nut. And then you're gonna tighten this. And then you have, voila, this right here. And then you, they want you to put another nut on here. Now, once you keep leaving an inch gap between this nut and that nut. So this, this is gonna go inside of your, the legs. It's gonna go right in here. So they want you to take a, a I think they said a hammer, round ping hammer, and hammer this in there. So let's do that. Let's do the movie magic and be like, like baking cakes with Martha Stewart or something. Voila, just like that, it's done. So uh, you take this, insert it in there, and boom, that's step one. Then you gotta make three more. We're not gonna keep you around for that. We're just gonna get to the step two. There we go. All right, so here we are at step two. One side on, and I'm gonna get that side on next. Um, so, these rails, the outer rails, have a specific uh, place they need to be. I'll leave it up to you to read the instructions to figure out which one that one is, which is left and right. There is a specific left and right. I wish they would put left and right on here to make it easier for us, uh, but they don't. So, but they do show you the whole configuration on the instructions of how which one is left and which one's right. So I'm also building this upside down, as you see, um, rather than right side up, um, just because it'd be a lot easier to square this thing up on the table. Um, haven't seen anybody do that. Uh, so the spacer goes right there. The spacer has a collar right there, and you put one here. You put one there. And just, so this side is the nut, and then that's the bolt that goes, that's a whole, one solid bolt that goes all the way right there. And the only short bolt goes in this tube, can't see it, but anyways, it, it bottoms out to the bottom of that square tube, and then boom, another collar. All right, so the next step, they would like you to use a square and square the lower tubes, which will be this tube and that tube. Um, they want you to go ahead and get them uh, square from each other. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this side. So you'll need a 14 in metric. We'll just snug that up just a little bit right there. We'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, yeah. Man. 
They got this stuff down, y'all. Let me go ahead and see if this end is square. Okay, so now that I've tightened the uh, lower rails together, meaning this one and this one, um, they say in, their, in the instructions to keep the legs wobbly. Uh, um, so now I'm gonna get this up off the table and put it on the ground. All right, hey, this is the next step. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna install the, uh, the bearing block flange assembly, which are these bad boys right here. Um, so they've got four different uh, bearing areas but anyway so right here this this bearing is slotted and this bearing uh, joint right here is slotted as well uh, you want to leave those loose and you can actually tighten up make sure that these others are tightened uh, the ones that aren't slotted get bag 16 with the flange nuts and we're gonna grab bag seven with the head cap screws and also the washer bag bag 19 with the stainless steel washers so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these are tight real quick the ones that aren't slotted they're set screws um right here i hope this is coming in clear and then right here they have an orientation on how they, they would like you to set them up on on this uh, carriage mount. So they want one going up and then the other one coming towards this little area right here. The long, elongated portion of this mount. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and mount this bad boy just like this. And they want your finger tighten these. I don't want you to crank it down just yet. And they actually, so you get two of these. Two of these carriage weld mounts, weld mint. I've already built the other one. You're welcome. All right, boom. There you go. These are gonna slide on the, on the, uh, one of the axes, I guess. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so the next step is to tighten the, uh, these uh, brackets to the frame, but do not tighten these brackets to the y-axis. Alright, well, it's getting late, but we're going to keep pushing for a little bit longer. You know, reading these instructions is like going to... Starbucks and trying to read the menu. It's like, what? Yeah. So, it wants us to mount the X axis carriage assembly, which is this right here, 
to the z-axis assembly which is this unit right here so we're gonna mount it just like so all right so now what we're getting ready to do is uh, get the water pan installed and what I've done is squared this water pan up as good as I can and it's got these holes right here and along the perimeter I went ahead and took a marker and dotted each one of those areas just for a guide for when I reinstall this when it's when I'm gluing it so um, they send you let me show you what they send you. So they send you this silicone rubber cement and I've heard nothing but bad things of tables leaking. So um, what I will be using today is a product by 3M and it is called Panel Bond. All right guys, this probably is not recommended in the instructions, but me as an automotive technician, auto body technician, um, this makes sense for me to go ahead and rough up this edge on both ends um, before I uh, do the panel bond. It's gonna allow a little more of a bite rather than this smooth edge. All right, so next what they would like you to do is uh, install these, these drains, uh, the drain. Uh, looks like this, it's like a little brass drain and it's got this nut that goes on the bottom and then there's a gasket, rubber gasket that goes right here and then the actual drain plug right there. So I went ahead and wiped this area where we're gonna install this with some alcohol uh, just to get the grease off that, that's on here from the factory. So let's go ahead and get these installed. All right, so the next step, they have you install these the slats. So, here are the slat mounts, and they say install them over the the uh, the bolts, the self-tapping bolts that we uh, screwed into the the frame of this table.
I found something I can repurpose at work today. Um, in the scrap, in the metal scrap, I found some caster wheels. How about that? I, I found four. And they still even have the little barcodes on them. So I said, you know what? I wonder if the thread count on these will match up with what's on the table. And guess what? They do! And we're gonna go ahead and install them real quick. Why not? So, uh, yeah. We're almost there, y'all. Let's get to it. gonna do it for today's video I appreciate you guys hanging in there and watching it to the end um, thank you very much thank you thank you very much for watching this video <laughs> I really do um, so our next video will be on wiring this bad boy up and firing it up for the first time that's gonna be exciting so um, I haven't shown you guys yet but I'll show you right now this is the uh, the Miller uh, machine torch that I picked out. Um, I've got it all wired up. And so my next video will be on this Miller Spectrum 875 Auto Line plasma cutting uh, system. So I have the, the kit that they sell, the automation kit. And I've got the torch height controller from Langmire sitting on the side there. I have not at all fired this bad boy up. Uh, excuse me for a second, sorry. Turn around. Yeah, okay, so I have not fired this bad boy up yet. Um, but I will be on this next video. And I'm nervous as heck. So I really hope you got something out of this video. And if you, uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, stay humble. Hustle harder. Peace.